Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi gemini this is sha and welcome to the reading your first card is <clears throat> you've got the elder that is the high priest shaman the hierophant in the traditional tarot these are all the names that he has and in this a, um, Avalonian oracle deck or sorry the pagan way tarot he is the elder you go to him for spiritual guidance for a professional advice and he also has the key in the book and he's got a owl because he's wise the owl is there representing his wisdom and that he's also the um, he uses his wisdom to delegate advice he knows the letter of the law so you might be seeking legal advice or you might see seek prof, uh, advice from a professional a bookkeeper a doctor a teacher a lawyer a judge but it could also mean that you could be seeking advice from a father or a father figure a mature man that you respect you could also be meeting a Taurus as he also stands for Taurus you have the Queen of Spades and you've got a nine of Lenemann and a bunch of flowers and this is represented with a sort of like a negative photo of um, sunflowers so this is your bunch of flowers luck is on your side somebody might be coming in to give you a present and the queen of spades is Libra so it could be a Libra but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarian you, ooh, that's nice a visitor bringing a gift nine an ending to certain things if you are in judicial situation perhaps mm, there is an ending to a judicial situation and luck is with you as the flowers also represent luck you might be getting a gift perhaps you have sought advice from a legal uh, or um, a professional or a mature man that is wise and that you trust and respect and they have bring they their advice is bringing you justice now I didn't sort out the cards in any way I, I I would love to have a look especially when I saw this card no but I didn't I didn't I swear to you I didn't now the next card you've got a brilliant card that is in midweek you have the four of ones harmony beautifully said but in the traditional tarot it means wedding celebrations basically a wedding or you might be buying a house because the four ones represent the four corners of a house but there will be celebrations you might be getting married but you might also get an invitation to a wedding at this wedding you will meet other friends and you might be networking at this wedding or celebration because the four also means uh, the four of ones also means proper foundations now if you are in a judicial situation it could be you as a Gemini Libra or an Aquarian that um, is trying to cut straight through to the core by getting advice from a legal a legality a legal person or this person could be um, an, a Libra a, uh, or a Gemini or a, a, an Aquarian that's helping you to seek the truth now since we've got a man and a woman here 
could be coupling up, like I said, getting married, because the elder is also represents uh, professional people. It could be the church, because he's spiritual, but it could also be the man at the registry office. On this card we have the child, and it came out, I think it was in Taurus as well, that so, uh, some of you might get married or somebody of you might find out you're pregnant and have to get married uh, or not have to because you don't have to nowadays but that you are getting married but it was also extension of the family now you have the page of spades and that means news this could be official news from a municipality or an institution this could also be mean that you'll be getting good news that something will become clear to you definitely number 13 to me is um, uh, like um, fellowship in the I Ching you'll make new friends especially at this wedding like I said and these friendships will be built on proper foundations or partnerships after all you might get news from them 13 is 1 and 3 is 4 so you've got a double 4 lying next to each other right and that is 4 and 4 is 8 and that is the money house and the power house wow so with the child that means that you might be pregnant there's a new beginning this could be a study this could be a job this could be a pregnancy hearing of a pregnancy of a child or a new project awesome wow and uh, it could also mean be let your inner child come out don't be too serious in everything that you do like the queen of swords she has to keep her com emotions under control because she has to be sharp at all times she has to communicate clearly she has to think clearly so that she can get the message true in the right way and in uh, watch her intonation that's what she has to she has to be sharp but she has to bring it across gently childlike simple because not everybody uh, can understand legal jargon wow well good news then we have the two of cups union so you might be forming a partnership like getting married or in business and you could be signing contracts this is your this union is a blessed union as you've got two fours proper foundations everything done done uh, sorted out to the T this is your soulmate you're in emotional balance and you're in your powerhouse money and strength house because of number eight then we have the man and this is the um, uh, spades, ace of spades, so new communications, new beginnings, new study like I said because the uh, swords stand, spades is swords, stand for wisdom you might meet a new man and this could be, uh, this could be uh, a Gemini, Libra um, or an Aquarian like I said this is the ace but there's a new beginning victory is yours definitely and at number 11 2 and 9 is 11 so the angels have your back so you could be meeting an air sign and we've got the queen here so that means coupling getting married soulmate so you might just meet your beautiful soulmate okay it doesn't have to be the sun sign it can be also the rising sign or the moon sign so make sure what your partner's r signs are oh my goodness oh my goodness I never ever sort this out I never do that with my readings you have the lovers Gemini 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 so that is very prominent that is very very prominent we've got Libra the Queen and then we have the page which is Aquarius and then we have the ace all three and then we have the Gemini the lovers 
and on the lovers you have the uh, eight of diamonds eight of diamonds is the eight of pentacles well most of you will know what that means the eight of pentacles means recognition for your hard work recognition the truth is coming out they recognition you've got recognition that you were right all the, along if you are in a judicial situation the truth or clarity will come out that you love each other you are made for each other if this is a, your love reading this is really love because we've got the unit union we've got the lovers we've got the marriage we've got babies we've got new beginnings all over the swords are all over this reading prominently wow 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 this is mind-blowing and the birds of course means you're getting news now these birds are owls so that means official news and it could be news about money because you've got an eight here right and four and four is eight so you've got two eights your powerhouse and money house this could be a settlement this could be a tax return this could be an inheritance oh, wow you're in your power darlings you it's wow this is mind-blowing really not because I'm a Gemini but it's because the air signs are so predominant the truth prevails then we have the hearth seeker the hearth seeker is of course mum mum's the word <laughs> no, I don't know I just had to let that go come out the hearth seeker is mother it's nurturing so the key words to this card are sacred center yes and if we look into our houses now the hearth of the home is the kitchen that is the sacred center that's where food is prepared that's where we give love make food with love and nurture our family and our bodies it's also the heart of the home so it is community which is also a key word home foundation here you are nurturing tradition the elder marriage is tradition wise use of resources nature Continuate, uh, continuity getting married kinship family partnering up getting married wow parenting parenting yes keeping the center and nourishing wow this is so beautiful thank you angels when the hearth keeper makes her presence known it is important to re-examine the core values from which you live your life take the time to nurture yourself and ensure that you are meeting your basic needs be sure that you feed your inner flame and replenish your spiritual stocks lest you suffer from burnout or illness re-examine your fundamental beliefs about yourself and your life and seek to strengthen what is in need of reinforcement do not underplay the importance of that which is practical nor disparage that things that you do and the person you are all of life is sacred and all its acts, uh, uh, acts especially while done cons consciously are holy ensure that your home is the place of sanctuary and seek to find true sanctuary within you and calm well that's the swords whole uh, a calm a whole safe center that empowers your life to ignite your inner hearth fire family of origin issues may be activated at this time which can be difficult but which also bring opportunities for growth and personal healing find comfort in your family of choice and seek out a community 
of support and understanding. So if you're isolating yourself and you cannot communicate with your family, then go out there and find your own family. And the English saying goes, family is what you got, but friends is who whom you choose. So you do make your own family outside the blood relationship family. Now the affirmation that you can use is my sacred center is the source of my wholeness and origin of my holiness. I nurture my body, mind and spirit, which that which feeds my soul. I honor those who have come before me and seek their wisdom as I learn to love the life I have built around me. Wow, that's amazing. That's beautiful. And then we have TLC, Tender Loving Care for our soul. Carry on. So you are on the right path, Gems. Keep following the course you've set for yourself. And if the Divine wants to change your route, you will, of course. Be given notice just when you need it. Never in advance. Make a plan, take a break, and remind yourself it isn't, isn't it wonderful. Everything is out of my control. There is more happening here than I want, I can see. There is more happening here than what I can see. A cosmic plan is playing out right before my eyes. Listen as the exquisite beloved whispers your efforts will be duly rewarded carry on pouring love into your innovations wow that's a beautiful message i'm glad i am a gem because it is always nice to have beautiful messages especially when they resonate with you if this reading in any way does not resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign and I've got a definite no a definite no a no with an exclamation mark so if you have a question with regards to a situation does he love love me or doesn't he love me no he does love you uh, doesn't doesn't he uh, does he love me in the way I want him to no he loves you in the way he it comes from him everybody loves in a different way some people show it and they they are affectionate and they want cuddles and hugs and this that and the other everybody is different like a lot of people say that the queen of swords um, is um, an iceberg is the ice princess or the widow they make us sound so negative. No, we have our emotions under control. We fall in love, hook, line and sinker. But we don't sometimes don't show it enough. So if you are one of those gems, then this is the message. L show it a little bit more, okay? Let your inner child come out. Don't be the cold fish. Don't be businesslike all the time be your be playful <laughs> come on Jim you are playful you are creative you're you're fun you've got humor let it out come on will he mind or will he think I'm an idiot or she no okay a definite no they love to see your innocence and your innocent uh, your child childishness your playfulness come out so for everybody the no will apply differently okay at this moment I don't know how it would resonate with me but I will see if it is in a judicial situation will I lose no definitely not not with everything that is showing here with the swords it's all positive you have a good advisor or a person that you respect dearly and they have helped you all the way and they've got it the truth is coming out big time awesome you've got recognition now where was the card of recognition here the eight of pentacles 
you are right, and you have stuck to your guns on wisdom, communication. You kept the communication going. You've used your brain, um, and you stood your ground because you stand for justice, clarity, honesty, and fairness. Beautiful, and you've got the ace of swords here, victory. And the angels are here, number 11. And I think there was another number 11 here somewhere. No. Uh, no. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care. God bless. And let me know whether you have victory. Or whether you're getting married. That's victory in itself. That is gorgeous. Or a new house. That is also victory. Okay, take care, God bless, and if you're on holiday, come back home safely and enjoy. Stay safe and be blessed, and please share and like. Thank you.